Changes could be on the way for some of the buildings that have been in Rochester for decades. Good morning. I'm Jess Abrahamson. And I'm Kelsey Marrier. Good morning. Today, the City Council will be studying the need for a potential downtown historic district designation to protect these buildings for years to come. Our Darian Letty is joining us in the studio this morning with all the details on this story. So, Darian, tell us a little bit about what's all on the agenda for tonight. Yeah, Justin Kelsey, it actually goes back quite a ways into Rochester history. Back in 2019, the City Council started conversations about establishing a downtown historic commercial district, but it was tabled for a number of reasons, including unclear city codes and not enough assistance for the property owners. The city's Community Development Department worked to update the plan for years and at the beginning of this year presented the revised plan to the Council. After the presentation, City Council requested additional details on potential incentives for a community to having an historic district. And that's what's being presented this evening. We want to show you a map of the potential historic district. You can see the buildings highlighted in green between 2nd Street and 4th Street off of Broadway Avenue South and 1st Street Avenue Southwest. The study session starts at 3.30 this afternoon. Also happening tonight, a public hearing on some potential rezoning in Rochester. The council is hearing two plans one from the community development team and the second from the planning commission. The community development plans focuses on rezoning land where leaders say the land use is inconsistent with its intended purpose, and that includes the neighborhood of Pill Hill. On the other hand, the planning commission's plan excludes rezoning Pill Hill. Officials say neighbors and property owners are concerned about increased traffic and historical preservation if this were to be rezoned. The city council meeting gets underway at seven this evening. We'll have continued coverage on this story on our newscast tonight, as well as online on KTDC.com. All right, good break.